All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I mentioned in a previous video, my new trailer. Uh, again, six by 10 uh, snapper. Although, uh, if I had it to do all over again, uh, I would not buy a snapper trailer. The trailer is outstanding, um, but the customer service that I had with them uh, leaved a little bit to be desired. So, big fan of the trailer. The trailer is well built, um, but not a fan of their customer service. I bought it from, so I live in Jacksonville. I bought it from Pearson, Georgia. Drove two hours up there on the way back home. Uh, when I turned on my lights, we checked everything when we were there. When I turned the lights on, uh, I noticed every time I'd go over a, a bump or something that the running, the uh, I could see the fender lights right there. They're all LED lights, so the trailers lit up really good at night. But I could see that they were uh, they were flickering on and off. So I, my first thought was, wow, I got a short back there somewhere. And sure enough, about 20 minutes later, uh, the whole system shorted out and I had no running lights on the trailer. It was completely dark. Uh, I was on the side of the road for two hours trying to figure out where the short was. It blew a fuse, a 30 amp fuse in the truck that I replaced. Thank God I had a spare 30 amp fuse in the box. Uh, put that back in, got half of the lights working again, and uh, then had to fiddle around inside with the wiring that runs along the top there uh, before I was able to find where the short was. It was located behind a uh, aluminum plate that was on the back that covered those three running lights, the wiring for those three running lights at the top of the trailer, and that's where the short was. Uh, but yeah, there was a bare wire. Uh, they just left it like that, and uh, I called and complained, and uh yeah it didn't go so well anyway i want to talk a little bit about my trailer setup i guys i keep it real simple i know there's videos out there of other guys with these you know these big old trailers with these you know uh you know they've done spend another you know couple grand in, the, in making their trailer uh but me i tried to keep mine simple so the stands obviously uh there's for the big p47 there's four eye hooks uh that are screwed in into the bottom of the trailer there you can see the two uh the two bungees that strap that down and hold it in place uh the cub is just there's two eyelets with one bungee and holding that in place on the ground you see the fuel tank right there two eyelets and a bungee holding that in the wing the rack holding the uh, p47 wing i got from you can either get them from home depot or lowe's um it was like six bucks for that rack there are three screws that hold that rack uh, into place. And uh, I got two bungees, again, with, I put D-rings, chose to use D-rings for those uh, hooks, but you can see that wing is not going anywhere. That thing is secured uh, to the side of the trailer uh, and is not going anywhere. Uh, there's my uh, Kenshindo. It's hanging there with a hook. Also got from, uh, you can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. Two screws holding that in and then two eyelets with a little bungee that hold that to the thing. Uh, the table, my table back there, again, uh, two eyelets on either side with a bungee uh, that holds that table in place. I also have two hooks behind it that are hooked onto the leg uh, to help hold it, uh, to keep it from, from falling. So, so there's two hooks behind there. There's my wings for the cub, my wing bag for the carbon cub. And uh, there are my, I got two chairs up there also being held by the same type of rack that's holding uh, up my wing right here. So yeah, very simple guys. I probably, I probably have, uh, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks in the hardware inside the trailer. Uh, and like I said, I just took it to uh, Hinesville, Georgia. By the way, what a great uh, RC club up there. Uh, HG Barnstormers RC club up in Hinesville, Georgia. Second time I've been there. Uh, awesome, awesome place. If any of you guys ever get a chance to go there, it's awesome. Also went down to Bellevue uh, about three weeks ago to the Ocala uh, RC club. And uh, the, again, that was another a uh, great uh, RC field. I didn't take any planes that day. I did not have this trailer yet, um, but another great RC field uh, for you guys in Central uh, Florida. All right, guys, uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer anything I might uh, be able to help you with. Uh, again, six by 10, 
um, with a with a V nose, so all that extra space uh, really is free space up there because the actual the ten foot line is that second board up there, so that's where the ten feet stops. Uh, but I have that because it's a V nose, I have extra space up there in the nose. Uh, probably going to put a table in uh, eventually, maybe one day. May even add a shelf um, to uh, put my EDF jet on. Uh, but that's a little bit further down the road. All right, guys. Again, thanks for tuning into the channel. RC Flyboys Flight.